Warning, don't water down the scripture. The Bible makes it clear, demon possession is a reality. The biblical term for demon possession is daimonizomai. In all 13 instances where this word is used in scripture, it's being used to describe control by way of habitation, which is a form of ownership. The demon in this instance is said to have the victim's body in its possession. But we understand that God owns everything. Demons, like human beings, can be given localized spheres of influence and control. This is different than just demonic attack. Demonization always entails control via indwelling. Let's not use lukewarm definitions just because the truth is offensive. Demonization is always a very severe and intense form of demonic influence. That's why we have consensus and why nearly every major Bible translation uses the term possession because that's what the Bible's describing. Check your Bible at home. Demonization is always influence and control via indwelling and that is ownership. For a biblical look at demon possession, check out Holy Spirit the Bondage Breaker at bondagebreaker.com.